My talk will be uh, relatively short. Uh, I choose to uh, give um, most of my time to José Liste, my colleague, who is going to demonstrate two use cases that we recently uh, shipped to two of our uh, customers for segment routing. So I'll just a bit introduce where we are with the segment routing project and introduce to uh, José. So segment routing, I think, is applications finally control the network in a scalable way. What we have done with segment running is to deliver an end-to-end, -end, multi domain policy-aware network architecture that goes from servers in the data center through Metro and through the WAN. And everything we say here, we can demonstrate it with actual designs that are already deployed or committed for deployment. The key point is that the state is pushed at the source and in the bucket header, not in the infrastructure. That's the way we get the scaling. Through this uh, project, we have an architecture that marry the centralized optimization and the distributed intelligence. It's very important. Segment running has been designed for SDN. And I was very happy this morning when Paul w went through a session because really it's the way it is. When I started working on segment running, I read the paper uh, from Google on B4 and the Swan paper, and I was very influenced by these papers, very influenced, because first, I don't want to say anything negative, I think it was fantastic research at that point, they did it with what they had, but actually reading these papers, I thought, damn, I would never do it that way. And that's how segment running started. So. It's pretty great to see, and it was not a, a hope, but at, it, at the end we could still do something good for Swan as well. So this was unexpected, but, uh, but I think fantastic. But when I say segment routing has been designed for at the end, it's true. It's really what was happening at that time, looking at it, and I was thinking I would not do it that way. And so it started like this. Then uh, the second thing I would say is that segment running has been designed for operational simplicity. And this morning, uh, Mark from Walmart repeated it. And it's because when I started at Cisco, actually out of university, I got the MPLS code pack switching. And I was lucky to, to be uh, young enough that they would think that's not really important. And so I, play, I could play with it. So that I've been through all the career through MPLS. And I think it's obvious that MPLS control plane is extremely complex, the classic one. The data plane was great, but the control plane proved to be extremely unscalable, extremely complex to operate. And so listening to uh, the own experience and then listening to the operators, the need to focus on operational simplicity was obvious. And that's the second driving uh, principle of segment running. The better scale is obvious from the MPLS control plane issues, and the better utilization of the infrastructure. Because for example, RSVPT, yes, it's mature. Some have deployed, but that represents 2% of the overall service provider market, 0% of the large enterprise market. So, I mean, yes, there was a solution to do better infrastructure utilization, but not to most of the operators, uh, certainly. So these were the, the key target for segment routing. Uh, the way we build it, the segment routing architecture, is that we work very closely with operators, either in the web space, uh, the hyperscale web uh, space, the large service providers, the small service providers, and large enterprise. And we have, at this point in time, significant deployments across all of these markets. I think this is extremely good to see a technology that can be reused across these markets, and that can be used in the data center as well as in the core or in the metro aggregation, or to do inter-domain end-to-end uh, policy across uh, multiple of these uh, portion of networks. We have invested a lot. Uh, we've been very uh, thankful uh, for David Ward, Ravi Chandra, uh, Sumit, who have helped us do the funding, but it's a significant funding on this uh, project. Why? Because we, uh, we believe it's the, it's the IP architecture for the next five, ten years. Okay? So, that's basically uh, some pictures I took this morning. I thought it was great because when I say it's designed for SDN, it's really uh, after reading the SWAN and the B4 paper, so I think it was great. And then uh, uh, John Lady said, well, the flow outside the network, that's basically what I thought when I was reading these papers on open flow. I would say, F fantastic, because it was uh, it has fueled research, and that's very important. And they did it with what they had at that time. 
but open flow, I mean, it's so obvious that it will not scale. So uh, that's what I think John what, wanted really to underline, and that's what we achieve with segment routing. We put the state at the source, at the edge of the network, but not in the infrastructure, not the puff flow state. It would not scale otherwise. So in 2013, 2015 timeframes, we focus on segment routing and PLS. Segment routing control plane, let's say, architecture, on the MPLS data plane. Why we did it? Because it was first very easy to deploy, we were reusing the MPLS data plane, and because the need was obvious, the need to simplify MPLS was clear, the need to increase the scale was clear, the, the need to deliver better SLA was clear. And so over these uh, two years and now three years, we delivered TILFA, which is an automated 50 millisecond protection that works in any topology for any link node or SRG failure. Nothing comes close to this type of technology in terms of both optimization and uh, simplicity of operation because it's entirely automated. We have delivered the microloop avoidance which has never been touched by any other uh, solution before. There was no solution to that problem, although it's a root problem of IP since the beginning. We've allowed to remove LDP, RSVP, IGP, LDP sinks, sink that are really uh, complex and redundant problems not to have. Then we, we shipped basically SRT, which is the distributed traffic engineering technology for segment routing, where the routers themselves do the traffic engineering optimization. XTC, WAE, which is a centralized traffic engineering optimization. And ODN, which is the glue between this distributed optimization capability and the centralized optimization capability. Again, coming back to the claim that, and I think it's really true, the way segment routing has been designed is to be hybrid between the distributed intelligence, the automation. For example, Paul was referring to the presence of ISIS or SPF, either for the topology, for the fast reroute, etc., but as well from the centralized controller to deal with problems that the network cannot deal in a distributed manner or maybe to deal with it in a better way. So the two are complementary. I believe, and that's what we do in segment running. The first demonstration that Jose is going to do is on this. We'll show that use case that we delivered uh, to our first customers late last year, and then we continue to add more functionality uh, in, in the, the recent month. I'd like to, uh, to say that over these two uh, and two, three years, we've seen uh, segment routing becoming the de facto network architecture for SDN. And this, I think, is fantastic. Uh, from a standardization viewpoint, we put a lot of resource on it uh, because it was key for our operators. And so we're very happy with the standardization uh, status where we are. And there is nothing in our implementation that is proprietary. No one bit. We do everything open. Uh, and standardized, and we've been working a lot to get the multi-vendor consensus. It was difficult for some, but we got it, and again, it was very important. It was the contract with the operators that we made at the beginning. Uh, last slide, I'd like to really underline the importance for me of SRV6. Since the very beginning, the first public talk I gave in 2013 in Paris, I, 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 I did a talk on SRV6. The segment routing architecture has been fought for IPv6. All the research, the development we've been doing on MPLS has been fought for SRV6. So the TILFA, the fast reroute algorithm, the microloop uh, algorithm, the distributed optimization, the centralized optimization, all of these development have been fought for an IP architecture. And then we were apply applying it to the MPLS data plane with segment routing. But it has been fought and designed it as an IP-based architecture. So all of that research and development we're going to leverage it for SRV6 as well. What we need to do with the SRV6 is to bring the data plane support. And that's what I'm really focused on. So in March of this year, we've basically demonstrated the first uh, hardware support for SRV6 on the SR9K, March. And then in April, a month after, we showed our first end-to-end -end use case for SRV6, which is the one that John uh, Lady showed this morning. This, we call it spray. This capability to feed the access multicast trees, which we really need to scale the access, but to not feed them with 
multicast technology in the car that is really too complex and too expensive for its gain, but to feed it with SRV6 in a programmed way. We program the network, and you'll see that will be the second demonstration that uh, Jose is going to uh, show. I think it's very uh, dry demo because it's, it's showing as a proof what, what we can do with SRV6. What we are doing right now is working on the next use case together with John Lady uh, and other uh, customers that are interested in SRV6. There's a lot of opportunity, we focus on it. Uh, but as always, we need you. And so basically, I'll finish with where I started. Contact us if you have ideas, if you have requirements, if you have questions. That's really the way we, we, we work is we really work on the basis of what we can define in a concrete way with operators. So if you're interested on the SRV6, uh, I spend a lot of my time on it, and so don't hesitate. Or SRMPLS, don't hesitate. These uh, interactions are very important for us.